Wow, guys! Hi, guys! It's Lynn here and Hansi! Yeah. And guess what, guys? We are at the Belfast Botanic Gardens and those of you who've been following me for a while will know that last year, probably around this time last year actually, we had to um, donate one of our, or Hansi's I should say, very, very special tree here, um, flame tree. And this amazing tree, Hans grew himself from seed when he actually lived in Sweden a few, well, a couple of years ago now, a few years ago. And it's an absolutely beautiful plant. He brought it all the way over from Sweden to Ireland to, to come and live with him and me. And last year, because as you can see, it outgrew the size of the, the polytunnel and actually the house. We had to donate it to the Botanic Gardens here in Belfast, which we were we're happy to do because it's got an amazing home, as you can see. Look at this greenhouse, guys. This would be our dream. So it's having a wonderful life. But it broke our hearts. I don't even get emotional talking about it because I was very attached to this plant. But God knows how Hansi must have felt because he grew it from seed years ago and very attached to it. We didn't want to give it away, but we had no choice. I mean, it was going to a lovely home here and it's well looked after. And we've done a few regular updates. If you didn't see the original video when we donated this tree, then do check that well, video I'm out. Yes, and a couple of videos. One to when Hans pruned the tree and one when we donated it last year. And um, you will see how it's come on since then. And also another update video. A couple of update videos we went, because we do see this tree regular. Every, every month at least we go and see it and then we make sure we do an update. And this is a, the, sort of the update we've done probably the past few months actually um, to show you here on the on the channel and I have to say we've just walked in this is the beautiful big big greenhouse might be the most aesthetically beautiful greenhouse it's a working greenhouse but this will be our dream because look at that look at the space guys plenty of room this is honestly the type of greenhouse me and Hans would have to have to have our plants comfortable and to have the nursery I want for my dream nursery for my propagating and selling and uh, cuttings and things so this is my um, law of attraction wish list guys and um, this is so lovely to see Hansi's um, beautiful flame tree and before I'm going to put you on to Hansi um, to see what he thinks about it I'm so happy because I don't care if people think I'm balmy or not. I know that our plants are attuned to us. They do have, um, they may not have emotions and feelings like human beings and animals do, but they do have other senses from another dimension. They know when we're here. And I know that this tree knows Hans is here. I know, because I feel it. It knows we're here and it knows that we care and we come and see it regularly. And I have to say, the last few times we saw it, it was doing okay. I have to say, but this is unbelievable, especially bear in mind, this is late winter, guys, it's still February. This is absolutely unbelievable. And I'm so happy now that we, we donated it here because it's got a wonderful life. It's got the room to grow. And uh, they're even having a go at propagating it too. As you can see, that's layering, they call it. They're propagating this, so it looks like there's gonna be more. And um, Ben, young Ben, if you're watching this, um, our wonderful friend and subscriber, Ben, from Ben's channel, and Ben's plants has actually, he contacted me the other day to say he's actually bought one of these flame trees. Not sure if it's the same one, but he's bought one and um, he sent a little photograph. I actually have to, have, have to show Hansi it actually. So Ben, you do know your tree's going to grow like this one day. <laughs> but um, very, very, very lovely, lovely to see. And I'm just giving you a little bit of a, as you see, that's a great because Hansi's standing next to Hans is tall. He's a tall man, so this proves how tall this has grown, guys. So it's showing you the, the height of it here. And uh, Hansi, what have you got to say? Yeah, I'm very happy, I'm really happy. It's really thriving here now. Thriving. Yeah, uh, it's, it was thriving in my home in, in Stockholm when it was smaller, but compared to this, it's wow. It's I'm wonderful. Just, I'm so happy that. That I take it. Oh no. And, and uh, was interested in it because for me it's wow, emotional. Isn't I it? I really love it. I see, wow. Oh. It's come home. 
a sim home. Yeah. But to a better place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to say, I feel emotional too because we do get attached, but I can imagine how Hansi feels. And I used to have this tree in my office, guys, and every morning I used to get up to it, stroke its leaves and talk to it. We had it under the grow lights, but it was in front of a window as well, so it did get plenty of light. It was just, we didn't have the ceiling height, and Hans cut it back a few times so it would fit, but it come to the point where we don't want to keep cutting it back. It deserves to have a wonderful life. Oh. Hans, you can take that back as a little memento. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so lovely to see. And, um, it's really big. Uh, isn't it? Leaves, oh, go um, gorgeous. And I know this tree knows we're here. And I think we'll regularly keep in, keep in touch with it to check that how it's doing. And do check it out, guys. I said this is just a video vlog on an update on this beautiful tree. I'm just going to show you something as well here on here. This says... Brachy Triton Asafolius, generously donated by Hans Muller. And um, just in case you're not, uh, you don't follow Hans on YouTube, do go over and subscribe to, to Hans. He's my wonderful fiance. Family of Cactusy and Other Beauties. He has a lovely channel on there. So do go over. And uh, as I say, this is just so special to see this tree like this very very healthy it's been repotted into a massive big bucket pot which is just wonderful and um it's lovely to see it's even having a baby it's been propagated so very special yeah. and um it knows I'm happy they take care of it. <laughs> yeah it means such a lot it is very special and it's got company, it's got other big trees as well, all lovely plants as well, that's mm -hmm. going to give them a little bit of love too, because they don't want to be left out. Look at this one here, it's like an orange, orange tree, obviously it's got little oranges on, hasn't it? Wow. Yeah. Lovely, and it's a lovely temperature in here too. We was a bit concerned because it has been, we've had a few frosty nights and it's been very cold. And we know they do heat, I mean obviously there's heating as you can see there, that's how they heat here in the botanic gardens. But um, this particular greenhouse where these plants, they're sort of semi, they keep this semi cool. it's not exactly warm but it's not cold either. So we was a bit concerned how it was going to get over the, the winter but it's thriving, I mean look at that. And I say it's a lovely temperature in here, not too hot, not too cool either. And uh, very good to see. So. Belfast City Council, who run the um, Botanic Gardens, thank you so much for, for looking after this beautiful flame tree. And um, you're doing a great job, guys. And keep up the good work. And as I say, I'm putting the law of attraction out for a greenhouse for me and Hans this size in the future where we can have our dream nursery and um, the land to have something like this. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. So, guys, that's, that's just the update on it. Happy news indeed, and stay tuned for future updates in the future. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of flame tree, flame tree power. Plant power. As always, from across the Emerald Isle. Yeah. And until the next video, bye. Bye. <laughs> and I have to say bye. From the big giant. Bye. <laughs> oh. oh, what a good feeling.